Today on James on IT, we're going to talk about some simple commands you can run right now on your computer to fix weird Windows issues and how easy it is. Let's get started. So a common issue with Windows is, and honestly, you're going to run into this on any computer, is files can get corrupted over time. Things just happen. We are imperfect people and we build imperfect things. But you can fix your Windows install by refreshing those files back to what they were when you originally installed Windows by just running a couple simple commands. Let me show you what you can do. So here we're on our Windows computer. And if we go down here to the Start button, right click, you'll have a selection of Terminal and Terminal Admin. We want to run the terminal and this will open up a new box, this little black box. Let's kind of zoom in here so we can see what we're doing together. Now, a couple commands to run is the DISM command and the other one is SFC. What these do is they check your Windows file system and your Windows files for any type of corruption or any files that may be missing or changed in some way and refreshes them back to where they were when you originally installed Windows. And the best part is it doesn't damage your computer. This fixes stuff. It does not do anything wrong because it's looking at your core system, not the stuff that you change in your day-to-day -day use. So let me show you how to run these commands. Our first one is DISM, and there's a couple options that we need to run. First is gonna be on line. What this does is it pulls the image from Microsoft. So you don't have to have Windows install media on your computer to run this because that's what it's comparing to. It's actually going out and checking what's the official Windows installation look like versus what you have on your computer. And then that's what it goes off of to fix it. So this will go out to online resources and we're telling it to clean up image and then we want it to, there's a couple different flags that we can do. The first one, the easiest one, and the quickest is the check health flag. We run this. Now what's gonna pop up, it's gonna say elevated permissions are required to run DISM. Now, the reason for this is because this is doing things that are a much, much higher level. I actually did this on purpose because I wanted to show you that you can't run this on a regular prompt. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's change over. And we wanna run the admin one now. Now, if yours says something different here, like it says command or PowerShell, that's fine. The big thing that we wanna do is we want to run PowerShell. So if you are not sure here, what you can always do is you can hit your Windows button, just type in Windows PowerShell and you'll see this. And then what you'll wanna do is right click on it and then run as administrator. That does the exact same thing, opens up another box for you to get into PowerShell to run these commands that we're gonna be running. So let's open this up. Now, let's do that same command. We're gonna DISM online, clean up image, and then check health. And you'll see that it's gonna run. So you notice that ran super fast. Well, the check health just looks for the most obvious thing. So it's the fastest thing to run. You see no component store corruption detected. In other words, everything checked out clean on this install, which is awesome. So the next one that we want to run though is scan health. And by the way, you're more than welcome to run these commands while watching this video. It will literally just run in the background which is great. Now what you'll see here is that it's going through and scanning the system. So this is a much, much deeper scan to check and see what could be corrupted, what issues we could have on the system versus this one, which was pretty much instant. So we'll go ahead and let this finish and then we'll fast forward to when it's done. So as you can see, it finished and we see here that the component store is repairable. It's always pretty much going to say that unless it's not repairable. But since we don't have any issues, it's always going to say that it's repairable and then that the operation completes successfully. If you get any errors, just Google them and you'll be able to see what to do to fix those. But for the most part, it should run just fine. After you run the scan health, next what we want to do is run restore health. What this does is it actually goes out and starts fixing all the issues that it found. So as you can see here, it finished the restore process 100% and we'll put my, get this above my head so you can see it. The restore 
operation completed successfully, which is fantastic. So it means that if there was any issues, it fixed those problems, downloaded the files that was needed. Now this does take a lot longer than like the other two because it's actively doing more. But as you could tell, you know, since this is a clean system, I didn't have any issues. So let's clear the terminal here. Now let's run another program. So this is SFC. And what we want to do is scan now. This is good to run after you run the DISM commands. That way this looks at other areas of your system and fixes those. So now what you'll notice here, it says that there's a system repair. So the other did repair something. So we need to first restart our computer and then we can run this SFC command then. It's always good to run this after you run the DISMs since this checks other areas of the system and fixes those. So we'll reboot and we'll just cut over to that. Okay, we're back after a reboot. Now let's get back in our terminal here and run our scan now. So like I mentioned before, the SFC command, it looks at other system components. And what it does is similar to the DISM where DS, DISM is looking at the component store, the SFC is looking at more of your system files and it goes through, checks them and fixes any corruption it may find. There's a long running joke in the IT community that SFC fixes nothing because most of the time you run it, it doesn't seem like it fixes anything. But honestly, especially here lately, I've found that it's fixed quite a few little weird quirks for me. As you can tell, it doesn't take very long for SFC to run. So we'll just speed this video up here and I'll see it 100%. All right, we're done. And as you can tell, it didn't find any integrity violations, which means everything checked out beautifully. But if it does find something, it'll say that it repaired things and usually there's a reboot. Now, if the DISM and the SFC doesn't fix your issue, then the best thing to do is go ahead and run a Windows Restore, or what you can do is use the Windows installation media for Windows 11. You can either download it or you can make your own from your Windows computer and run a repair. Now that usually will, it'll go through and wipe any of your installed programs and stuff, but that's really the only way to fix something if it's really, really bad on your system. But keep these commands handy. These four commands that you can run at any time while you're doing stuff, it keeps your system healthy. If things are running slow, running weird, it's great to run these and just to help make sure everything's nice and clean and working well on your system. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.